Halifax, a group of Halifax filmmakers is debuting its first feature-length documentary about the growth of social enterprise in Canada, with a block party in the North End this week. The film, called The Social Shift is the product of a six-week, 8,500 km trip across the country in a vehicle dubbed The Fridge, an intermittently reliable 1991 Chevy RV, after driving 8,500 km across Canada interviewing over 50 people in 14 cities and 9 provinces in six weeks, we present to you, The Social Shift, a documentary that tells the story of business for good. Dartmouth videographer twins Megan and Marie Wright, Halifax activist Joseph Hoyer and Toronto videographer Kevin Courtney conducted 50 interviews on the trip, and another 20 back in Nova Scotia, all about social enterprise. Social enterprises are businesses that make money, but also try to create some kind of social, environmental, cultural or community good. While the Wrights and Hoyer all work for Common Good Solutions, a local social enterprise consulting firm, they didn't know it all about the sector. Article continued below, we know we are not expert by any means. Megan said, the whole purpose of the documentary is to follow us on this fun, educational, but amazing journey across the country to learn. With us, the story of the documentary follows the crew as they travel across the country, and its arc runs from west to east, showcasing dozens of different social enterprises in between. In Vancouver, they talked to Ember's Staffing Solutions, a socially responsible temporary staffing company that finds work for homeless people. In Calgary, they talked to CMNGD, pronounced common good, linens, which also hires homeless people, paying them a living wage to pick up, wash and deliver linens to clients like hotels and restaurants. The filmmakers behind The Social Shift, Marie Wright, Joseph Hoyer, Kevin Courtney and Megan Wright, with their 1991 Chevy RV, The Fridge, during the making of the documentary, The Social Shift, contributed back in Halifax, they interviewed the people behind Stone Hearth Bakery, a social Enterprise founded in 1982 that hires people living with mental illnesses and provides them with training, as Hoyer said, using bagels and bread as a tool for upward mobility for these folks, they're not in the business of bagels and bread. Megan said, They're in the business of employing people with mental health barriers. Article continued below the documentary also features politicians, like Vancouver Councillor Andrea Reimer, who made it her goal to make Vancouver the greenest city on earth, and got it up to number four. The last interview conducted for the documentary also featured a Canadian politician, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Megan said it took about 100 emails to Trudeau's assistant to make it happen, which she described as borderline too much, but they eventually got a 20-minute sit-down interview, it was really, really powerful to sit there, so close to him and listen to what he had to say, Megan said. The overarching message of the doc, Marie said, is that everyone can do their part, whether you're a first-time filmmaker or leader of this country, we all have a responsibility and a role to play in making a positive impact, she said. Hoyer described it as a call to action. It's not just a documentary to make you feel bad about something, he said. It's not just exposing something that's happened. It's providing tools and an intellectual understanding of how a single person, a citizen or a consumer or an employee can be a part of the change for their part. Hoyer and the rights will be repurposing their RV to be a social enterprise run by a group of North End teens, though they haven't decided on what their product or service will be yet. Whatever they decide to do, we're going to incorporate the RV into that so that the legacy carries on with social shifting even though the documentary's all wrapped up. Hoyer said, the RV, nicknamed The Fridge after a social media request for names, became somewhat of a character in the film, they said, having had a few breakdowns along the way. The screening is happening on Thursday night, starting with a community gathering at 7.30pm and then showing the film at dusk. They're shutting down Canard Street. Between Creighton and Maynard SDS, in front of Common Good Solutions new offices. but it's also a fundraiser. Admission is pay what you can, and every cent raised will go toward a new natural playground for the daycare on the first floor of their building. 
While the team plans to submit the doc to festivals and hopes to hold more screenings, the goal is to get it into universities and colleges across the globe to show students that social enterprise is an option. Zane Woodford is a Halifax-based reporter covering City Hall and Court. Follow him on Twitter, at Swoodford.